Yo, what's up? Exactly 1,000 days ago, I uploaded my craziest video ever. In that video, I found a few YouTubers who randomly disappeared. There was a guy named Kenny who loved to go in caves and make videos to show off his fans, but one day while making a video, Kenny got lost in a cave and he never made it out. He never uploaded another video to his channel and nobody ever saw him again. His girlfriend confirmed it in a comment where she said he got lost in the cave, and nine years later, nobody has found him. It's been almost four years since we explored some YouTubers that disappeared, and it's time to bring it back. This video is sponsored by Opera GX. Every single day, people make fun of me because of how bad my computer is. Like, I was trying to play Geometry Dash. Nope. My computer can't even play a game that's filled with shapes and made for three-year-olds. But guess what? I figured it out. You want to know why my computer's so bad? The internet browser I was using was hogging all of my PC's power. Opera GX made my computer so much faster because of one little thing. The GX control made it so I could control how much power and resources my browser was actually using, and yay, my computer's not stupid anymore. Whee! Well, I take that back because Opera GX allows you to make your computer as stupid as you want it to be. I was using the GX mods and I made it so every time I typed anything, my computer started farting. I'm not kidding. Okay, there's no way this worked. No. No. Uh, along with the farts, I also downloaded this Cozy Farm mod that made me feel kind of good. I even downloaded a mod that made it so every time I closed a window, it made this sound. And every time I opened a new window, it did this. Hello there. Opera GX offers a quick import tool where you can easily import all of your bookmarks and settings and all that type of stuff from your old browser. You don't have to set anything up with Opera GX. You can just transfer it over and be good. GX Mods allows you to customize your PC like exactly how you want it. They let you change themes, colors, wallpapers, keyboard sounds, opening and closing tab sounds, and so much more. I love cats. Like just look at this mod that changes your keyboard sounds to a cat. And did I mention that all of this is free? Even the fart noises, bro, I would have paid $100 for this. You can download Opera GX right now with the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Once you realize how cool Opera GX makes your computer, you'll never want to go back. When I made that video four years ago, I was shocked at how many YouTubers that have actually disappeared. And no, I'm not talking about the YouTubers who are like, oh, I'm bored of YouTube. I don't want to make any more videos. I'm talking about the people who actually vanished, like your dad. Back in 2021, a girl named Gabby created her first YouTube channel. She named the channel Nomadic Static and she set up her profile picture. It was a picture of her and her boyfriend. And then on August 19th, she uploaded her first and last video. Gabby, Peter, never goes outside. <laughs> This video is really cool. It's Gabby and her boyfriend Brian traveling to amazing places, vlogging, eating sushi together. They look like they're having the best time. Around two minutes into the video, they start showing off their new van that they just purchased. And then a couple of minutes later, this happens. I think our plan for today is to just hang out. Brian's stretching, doing some morning yoga. They're in the wild, staying in a tent, doing yoga. That sounds amazing. Gabby is the main one recording and talking to the camera this whole time. We haven't seen much of her boyfriend, Brian, until this clip. So, we are right outside Capitol Reef right now in a uh, free dispersed camp spot. And we've been lucky so far at all the places we've stayed, but I'd say this is one of the best so far. They look so happy being out there and just vacationing. The video wraps up with them showing off their cool new van and then the video ends. The description of this video says, thank you so much for watching. We hope you tag along on our journey, wherever the van takes us. But this was their last video. The van didn't take them anywhere. On August 24th, five days after uploading the video, Gabby and Brian were seen leaving a hotel in Utah. The next day, August 25th, Gabby talked with her mom and dad. And she told them that her and Brian were going all the way to Wyoming to visit a huge national park. She was super excited and her parents were excited for her. I'll send you pictures. I'll show you everything. Love you. Right before her and her boyfriend left for Wyoming, she posted a picture on Instagram where she looked super happy. Two days later, on August 27th, Brian and Gabby finally made it to Wyoming. They were seen at a Whole Foods grocery store just getting a few things. 
But this was the last time Gabby was ever seen. Two days after that, on August 30th, a woman reported that while driving in Wyoming, she saw a hitchhiker who needed a ride, so she let him in and gave him a ride. This was Brian, but he wasn't with Gabby. He needed a ride back to the park where he parked the car for some reason. At this point, Gabby's parents hadn't received any photos, any texts, or anything from Gabby for five days now, and that was weird. But that night, Gabby's parents got a text from Gabby's phone. The text said, no service in Yosemite. That was a pretty weird text for Gabby to send. Her parents hadn't heard anything from Gabby in days, and the only text she sent them was to tell them that she had no service? At this point, Gabby's friends and her subscribers on her YouTube channel were excited to see what video she could make in Wyoming, but two days later, Brian arrived back at his mom and dad's house in Florida. He arrived there in Gabby's van, but Gabby wasn't there. After weeks went by, Gabby's mom and dad still hadn't heard anything from Gabby. They were worried. The last thing she texted them was that she had no service. They were worried that she possibly was lost in Wyoming or something else could have happened to her. So on September 11th, they filed a missing persons report and the cops only had one lead. They knew Brian and Gabby were in Wyoming just a few days ago together and they knew he was the last person to see her. So they wanted to talk to him. There was one problem with that. They didn't know where he was. Once Brian realized that the police wanted to talk to him, he left. Eight days later on September 19th, the case was starting to go cold. They had no idea where Brian went and they had no idea where Gabby was. They were starting to think that they weren't gonna find anything, but uh, they ended up finding something. They didn't find Brian, they found Gabby. Tonight, officials confirming they found a body near Grand Teton National Park that they believe may be that of Gabby Petito. Detectives found remains in the Spread Creek dispersed camping area in Wyoming, and those remains belonged to Gabby. It was said that she had major injuries to her head along with other things. It got even weirder when they discovered that she had passed away three to four weeks before she was even found. That means on August 30th, when she texted her parents saying she had no service in Yosemite, it wasn't her on her phone. But this wasn't over just yet. They still had no idea where Brian was. Coming as officials in Florida hunt for Petito's boyfriend, Brian Laundrie. The intense manhunt continues for Brian Laundrie. On October 5th, Brian's sister was on ABC News and she was telling him to surrender. She just wanted everything to be over. I worry about him, I hope he's okay, and then I'm angry and I don't know what to think. I would tell my brother to just come forward and get us out of this horrible mess. People had no idea what was going on. Their YouTube channel was literally so cute. They were having the time of their life, exploring the world together. What happened? After a full month of searching for Brian, they ended up finding some of his personal items near a creek. And shortly after that, they also found skeletal remains that belonged to Brian. We do have some breaking news right now in Northport. The FBI has confirmed that Brian Laundrie is dead and the human remains found in the woods yesterday are his. Three months after they found Brian, the FBI said that one of the personal items that they found in the creek was a notebook from Brian. And in this notebook, Brian admitted to hurting Gabby and he also admitted to texting people off of her phone and acting like her when she wasn't even alive. Honestly, it's just so jarring to watch this YouTube video they made. You can see how happy they were. Only a couple of days after uploading this video, she was gone. It really makes you realize that you can't trust what you see online, you can't trust what you see anywhere. They were laughing and enjoying themselves, loving each other. And then all of that happened. Wow. This next YouTuber we're gonna look at is more of a mystery. There was a girl named Dasha, and she created a YouTube channel named Spy Kitten TV. On her channel, she uploaded videos about why certain celebrities work with the Illuminati and why certain celebrities support the devil, just weird content like that. And one day, she uploaded a video that said channel update. Uh, eventually, I have plans to start doing bigger documentaries, as in where I get to travel and I could interview people, because I feel like there's a lot of uh, great ideas that I have. So it looks like this girl really wants to grow her channel. She wants to interview people on how they feel about celebrities. She wants to do cool things like that, right? Well, she posted a few videos after that one, talking about how Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, Hillary Clinton are all in the Illuminati. 
you will see her MK Ultra programming. One of the Illuminati's favorite political puppets, the Illuminati, is always watching his every move. And then she just vanished. She literally disappeared. She stopped posting videos. She didn't reply to any comments. She was gone. In her video descriptions, she has links to all of her Facebooks and Patreons, PayPals, and whatever the hell Gab is. Her Facebook page hasn't been active for five years and recently got taken down. She hasn't been active on Patreon or PayPal. I tried to send her some money and it wouldn't let me. And when I clicked on the Gab link, it took me to a weird website. And her last post on Gab was August 1st, 2018, more than five years ago. People are commenting saying, we miss you. Where are you? Are you okay? But she's never answered anybody. Because we don't really know what happened to her, this brings up some theories. Unlike the first YouTuber, we don't have any idea what happened to this girl, so let's try to figure it out. Theory number one. She was making these videos about Illuminati and like these devil videos, and the government was worried that she was onto something, so they did something to her. A lot of people think that this is crazy, but a lot of people also think that this is the true theory. In her comment section, you can often see people saying, did they get you? Did they silence you? This is wild, but you never know. Maybe she was onto something. The theory that I believe in is theory number two. Theory number two is that she just got tired of yapping and she just gave up. I haven't really shown you much of her videos, but in these videos, she's literally just finding the smallest things and trying her hardest to connect them to anything bad like the Illuminati. In this video, she literally shows a Taylor Swift music video and says Taylor Swift is a clone because she's burying her other self. Like, I don't even know, man. Both of these Taylors exemplify the multiple MK Ultra personalities or clones a star of her caliber possesses. It is weird though that she posted so many videos, she loved what she was doing, and then she just disappeared out of nowhere. What do you think? In the last video I made on YouTubers who disappeared, I talked about a guy named Red Kimon. He was a huge gaming YouTuber that just randomly stopped uploading one day. I wanna check his channel, see if he's uploaded since it's been like four years since that video. Well, it turns out he still hasn't uploaded a video for eight years. This dude was making so much money, getting millions and millions of views per video, and he just randomly stopped. Wow. Believe it or not, there's been a lot more YouTubers who have disappeared, like Paranormal Lana. She was a YouTuber who made videos about scary stories and like crime. She was getting pretty popular. She had about 50,000 subscribers with only a handful of videos, but then all of a sudden, she disappeared. But this one's kind of scary because a few days before she ended up disappearing, she posted something on her Twitter account that made it seem like somebody was stalking her and then she was never seen again. But people who disappear on YouTube aren't always a sad story. There was a girl named Hannah Wagner. She had a YouTube channel named Miss Hannah Minx. She was one of those anime cosplayer people who put on costumes and stuff. She was getting pretty popular on YouTube, but in 2013, she stopped uploading completely and vanished. People were worried. They really loved her channel. Well, it turns out, a few years later, she came back and she said the reason she stopped uploading was because she got married and started a family. I hope I go missing one day so I can be in one of these videos.